Okay, we're, uh, we're here in the uh, beautiful setting down here in Subiaco and I'm uh, joined with um, Sam Bolton. Now Sam's an extremely enthusiast uh, cyclist and um, she's also entered for this weekend's Wallard Supercrit which is absolutely fantastic. We've got some great uh, depth uh, coming through the uh, the Supercrit this weekend. Um, grades that we're aware of through uh, men's uh, A to E but we've also got a, a very deep females grades, uh, A grade, B grade, C grade and D. And um, so, uh, Sam, you've entered this weekend, which is uh, which is great. And um, you know, you probably yeah, haven't had a good look at the course, but sort of what's um, you know what's driven you to, to get involved this weekend, and you know, what are you looking forward to the most? I think I'm looking forward to riding a different course. I obviously, no one's ridden it before, so yeah. that's exciting and new. Um, I've had a look at the Travis's little course recce, um, so I think it's going to be an interesting course with the between the bricks and. The false flat at the end. I think it's going to be a bit different and quite a bit of fun. I think challenging. I think, and it's, a, it's, a, yes. it's a challenge against yourself as well. So that's why we sort of try to to bring when we look at the you know the events. It's um you know it's all, we always sort of try and mix these uh, circuits up. But you know the good thing is it's a, it's an individual challenge. I reckon more than just getting out there and you know, com being competitive is obviously very important. But it's the uh, personal challenge as well. What does race day look like to you? You know, like um, you know, obviously you put in all the training and get yourself uh, involved in race day. What, what's ra race day mean to you? Um, I love racing. I race as much as possible, and it's sort of just going through it each week, just trying to trying different things, uh, keeping it, uh, keeping up the routine, trying different things within the routine, seeing what works, what doesn't work, and then within the race, um, every race is different. You go in with a plan and or a couple of plans and then what happens if they go out the window and try something else yeah you've always got to be sort of looking for that uh, second option don't you when you, do. uh, you know if you're attacking yourself or someone else is going to have a bit of a go um what's driven you um from a cycling point of view like um, you know obviously um you know people do it for personal ambition etc but you know, tell us a little bit about your story and you know, how did you get into cycling and um yeah, what drives you to to get up every day to to train yep I started on the road bike about eight or nine years ago. I was always ridden had a bike as a kid, but really started on the road bike seriously then. And then about just two and a half years ago, uh, I was training for the Tour of Margaret River just with a bunch of friends uh, to go in for a bit of fun and just absolutely loved it. Just loved the training, loved the whole thing. And so just decided to become a bit more serious about it at that point. Uh, got a coach, started training more. And in terms of getting up every morning, just I just love it so much. I just love being out on the bike and, yeah. and doing that and doing the challenge. It, it is a it is a, a real challenge, and as I said, you know, sometimes obviously it's about you know getting yourself, pushing yourself through that training. But the results always come at the end of the day, don't they? It's they a, do. obviously typically what most coaches are going to talk to you talk you through. Um, so Sam's also very. I mean, we talk about an involvement in cycling, but she's also very heavily involved in the. Um, Backside of the cycling, so to speak, or the um, uh, the flip side of it being you're a commissaire, you're an acting commissaire. But Sam's also um, the chair of the new uh, Cycle Sport Women's Commission, um, and I think that's a, a really sort of very exciting um, sort of direction that uh, you know, uh, we're taking at the moment for uh, women in sport and equality, etc., cetera, uh, etc. Cetera. And um, you now, obviously, uh, can you talk us through sort of your expectations there, how this came about, and um, you know, where you sort of see the future heading for for women in cycling? Sure. So uh, there's been a push across the whole the country in the last few years, well, in the, the last 12 months, particularly about increasing women's participation in cycling and in racing and in the high level cycling so that started with the reformation of the Cycling Australia Women's Commission uh, a little over 12 months ago of which I'm also on yes. and then from that uh, the st all the state bodies started to get their own women's commissions happening as well um, which has been absolutely fantastic and just watching over the years the number of women uh, both the number of people cycling altogether, but also the number of women and, and the, the emphasis on it and what we can do to make it easier for women and to, to, to ride and to race. Um, and that's sort of where I come in, is that I'm really interested in, in getting more women racing, more yeah. women at that um, more elite professional end, but sort of 
not necessarily being professional, but people no. such as myself that yeah. um, very enthusiastic amateurs. The, the, the concept, I suppose, and, and being involved in a few of the, the meetings that you guys are, have held to date, um, it's identifying sort of those trigger points or, you know, what really uh, are the key things that, um, you know, hate to say it but there is obviously different ways that we tick between males and females of what drives someone and and look time frames work commitments uh, children commitments um, so yeah it seems to me that understanding understanding the pathway and then sort of encouragement and um, having the having females and, and women you know, really um, enjoy being part of the sport as well yeah yeah it is and Sort of, yeah, like you said, in finding ways to help women get into it and get into racing. And you don't have to be top level racer to do it, Absolutely. such as myself. I'm a D grade racer, but I just love it so much. That's and right. I just want to share that passion and that yeah. joy. We, um, we're really expecting to get um, you know, some great um, fields this weekend. Uh, so the, the ring series itself is it's a series of 10 events um, and we run them through sort of what we commonly know as a, a standard event. But the super, the super crit sort of, we really try and hype that um, the event up. It's in the afternoon, there's a lot of um, engagement with the, the public. And um, you know, so this weekend, uh, completely closed roads, which is, you know, really a, a huge part of future cycling and, and trying to, to secure that so that must be exciting oh absolutely definitely it makes such a difference when you're on close race and it's it just adds to the fun so much more because you don't have to worry that's one less thing you have to worry about in yeah. terms of having cars coming the opposite way or whatever and so, it's sorry. yeah it's just it's going to be so much fun do you think the safety aspect of cycling in general might be something that might may put females and women off the sport I th yeah, I think it does, and I think in terms of riding within a bunch and riding within a race, I th the feeling I get is a lot of women find it a little off-putting and a little scary, but my, from my personal experience, it's actually, I find that's a lot safer than a lot of group rides, um, because people within that, it really helps your skills, it helps build your skills, and people know what they're doing, yeah. and you can trust what they're doing, so. Uh, I think, um, you know, as I said, when you're in a controlled environment, when, you know, we're officiated, look like, like yourself, when you're involved in the officiating side of things, it has to be more, not only a safer environment, but definitely, as I said, the word controlled, meaning, you know, you've got a lot of help within the bunch, and you, you, you tend to get a lot of people that can um, give you a lot of advice when you're riding. Yeah, definitely and there's always people around there's always uh, people with lots of experience and, and lots of knowledge and always willing to help you and, and share and the community that we have in cycling and, uh, and it's obviously not just in Western Australia but you know the community is about helping people um, and so if anyone's out there who sort of maybe on the edge and they're sort of thinking about now you know any ladies want to think about coming along do you have any recommendations from training or groups or um, you know any recommendations to, to come along or maybe even just get in touch with cycle sport yeah just I mean the first thing was basically just turn up and um, Come along with a mate if that makes if that's easier. Um, get in touch with Cycle Sport. Get in touch with myself. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a few other people around doing lots of lots of great work, um, helping people race and ride. With all the work that the the new rider program with the Exercise Institute, and um, just talk to someone and we can. We're always there, willing to help. And someone will ride around with you if you want and give you a tips of advice. And yeah, the other thing that we didn't sort of speak about too with the, within the ring, we have a, a new an actual new rider program. So if someone wants to come along and they are thinking about you know the first time, um, that's a again we talk about being controlled. But we have a new rider program that we we will actually ride with a coach for a 15, 20 minute um, a period where you can actually sort of learn the course and uh, and then decide on whether you think that's for you. So yeah, that's obviously got to be a, you know positive. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's really about sort of learning um, the crafts of racing and what to do and what not to do and so you don't waste energy and, don't, yeah. and, so, and so having that kind of advice is just invaluable. So someone, if they're out there enjoying recreational cycling, big plus to give it a go? Absolutely. Great. Thanks Sam, appreciate your time.